My name is Joel Robinson from Cobra Firing Systems, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Deadman kit into your 18R2. So what you'll receive is a Deadman trigger and a replacement back enclosure that has the Deadman harness and Deadman board included. In order to complete this installation, the only tool you will need is a Phillips screwdriver. However, in this video I'm going to also use an electric screwdriver. Alright, so the first step. We're going to take our 18R2 and we're going to remove the four screws out of the back of the 18R2. After the screws have been removed, you can go ahead and open up the enclosure. And the next step is going to be disconnecting the back enclosure from the front. So in order to do this, we just have to disconnect the battery harness and the USB harness. I'm just going to pull up. And we can set the top aside for now. The next step is going to be taking out the USB port and harness here. So we're just going to unscrew the cap. Just kind of wiggle this off. Okay. Then we're going to unscrew the nut here. I can normally just do this with um, by hand, but if you have trouble, you can use a pair of pliers. And then we're just going to push the USB port out. So now we are done with the old back enclosure, so we're going to set that aside. So let's go ahead and grab the new back enclosure. And we're going to be installing the USB port into this enclosure. So we're going to grab the port itself. You'll see this side has a, has a flat side. That's the side we want facing up. Then we're going to go ahead and put this nut back on, and you do not have to tighten this extremely tight. I just normally hand tighten it, and that's good enough. Alright. It's sitting a little funny. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we're going to put the cap back on. Now we can grab the top of the 18R2 and we're going to be connecting all these wires onto the 18R2. Let's start with the battery harness. This one goes right here. The USB harness goes right here. And then for the dead man, the dead man board gets plugged in right here. So I'm just going to line these pins up with this connector here. And you'll see here, I have it lined it up. So now we're ready to put the 18R2 back together. We're just going to make sure that these uh, battery wires are not going to be behind the battery compartment. And you'll see here that they are not. And lastly, I'm going to make sure no wires are being pinched. And they are not. So we're going to go ahead and, and put the four screws back into the back enclosure. Now, since I'm using the hand screwdriver, I'm sorry, the electric screwdriver, I'm only going to tighten them about three-fourths the way, and then I'm going to use the hand screwdriver to finish them off. Alright, once you have finished tightening the four screws on the back of the 18R2, you have finished the installation process. One more thing I want to show you, and that is how to connect the Deadman trigger. So you'll see here that there is a black button. You just want to have that facing up. And then you're going to line the dead man trigger with the port on the side of the 18 or 2. And when you push in, you'll hear it click. And that means the dead man trigger is now connected. If you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to check out our website at cobrafiringsystems.com.